Okay, so here's our first example using the shell method to compute a volume. We have y equals 1 over x squared plus 1, which is this sort of bell shape. Uh, we're going to revolve it about the y-axis, right? So we have this, this is our region here. We're going to revolve about the y-axis. So we're going to get this, this sort of shape here, right? Um, so now we could, of course, we could, we could do disks. There's nothing stopping us from doing disks for this, for this particular region, right? If we revolve that around, um, we could do it via disks. Only kind of things we'd have to deal with is that, well, we'd have to use for y going from 0 to, this is 1 half here, right? If x is equal to 1, y is going to be a half. We'd have to do a, kind of a cylinder, solid cylinder from 0 up to 1 half. And then from 1 half up to 1, we'd have to do disks where the radius is given according to this. But the other problem is, well, we'd have to, you know, that radius would be, we'd need x as a function of y, so we'd have to solve this for y. I mean, it's not that bad, but shells are going to be easier, right? So what a typical shell looks like, draw this one here, there's our shell, right? So there's our cylindrical shell, looks something like that, right? So the radius of my shell is simply x, right? The height is f of x, which is 1 over x squared plus 1. And our bounds are given to us here, right? OK, so this is a straightforward setup. Volume is, according to this, 2 pi integral x going from 0 to 1 of x f of x, right? So x times 1 over x squared plus 1 times dx, right? I bet you thought you were going to have to use arctan or something like that because of that 1 over x squared plus 1. Uh, but the x in front, in fact, if you want the, uh, the 2x dx out front, suggests that we could do, we could do the following substitution. We could let u equal to x squared plus 1 then du would be 2x dx, right? u of 0 will be 1. u of 1 is 1 squared plus 1, which is 2. And so with that substitution, we can rewrite the volume as pi, because the 2 is gone, 2x dx is du. Pi times the integral from now 1 to 2, right? The limits change. Uh, we just have simply 1 over u times du. Well, that's easy enough, right? This is pi times log u from 1 to 2. So it's pi times the natural log of 2. 